Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this Monday morning. We're watching a bunch of stocks here in the pre-market, but the top one we are watching, because it is, in fact, the top trending ticker on the Yahoo Finance platform, that is Boeing on this uh, news that uh, it, could res- it might receive approval from the FAA to resume 787 deliveries. Now, Boeing has not uh, sh- delivered any of these planes since May 2021. Morgan Stanley out saying that uh, Boeing has a backlog of about 120 of these aircraft, could be worth $17 billion of revenue. So, of course, big news potentially uh, over at Boeing. You've seen the stock really climb here in the pre-market up about 4%. Yeah, the, the last significant year for the 787 line was 2019, where they produced 158 of those and were able to deliver. And so over these last two years, where you've seen in 2020 and 2021, 2020, only 53 delivered, and then 2021, 14 delivered. This year, of course, none, as the FAA was going into their own investigation process around the 787. But this is a huge money-making opportunity for them to finally be able to deliver on some of those longer because uh, let us also remember that these are multi-year agreements to deliver these planes to airline operators as well. And so that could potentially unlock the backlog that they already have right now for some of these orders too. Yeah, there's something else that's not hurting matters here in addition to the Dreamliner situation. And that's that there's a strike that is hanging Mm. over Boeing and it's averted that strike at least for a few days, even if it's still going to happen. It was scheduled for today 2,500 machinists that work on the company's fighter jets. Um, So obviously that's important for the company and it's a part of the company that hasn't been paused, right? Um, And so now they're still under negotiations with the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, um, I believe in the St. Louis area. So it might end up happening later in the week, but for now, It sounds like it's not starting today, at least. And another nugget I'll note, too, last week, uh, Boeing hired Walmart's chief communications officer. Mm. So he will be taking over as Boeing's new chief comm officer in early September, reporting to CEO David Calhoun. It's a big win. Uh, I saw what the team uh, did over there under his watch uh, over at Walmart. So perhaps Boeing could start crafting a better narrative. It's been a challenging two, three years for this company. So... That is good to see if you are a Boeing bull. Yeah, major after the 737 crisis that had taken place with the two fatal and deadly crashes that took place. But over these past two years as well, we've seen them start to ramp back up the ability to educate pilots on some of the changes for the 737, but then additionally just ramp up some of the deliveries with the necessary changes that the FAA also required for them to be able to get back into the skies as well. Yeah, they still have a lot of convincing to do when it comes to investors and regulators for that matter. 